well in the spirit as well as the captain. At ease, I'm saying, at ease. At ease, at ease. Go back there. James chapter 1. Read that real quick. 1 to 7. Sorry. Oh, I, mean, I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go to the book of Psalms chapter 1. 1, one, one, one ten, verse 10. All right? Go there real quick. Yeah, 111 and 10. Sorry about that. Y'all brothers got any questions? Y'all see what the captain was bringing over and the officer was bringing out, right? That's what we are here to teach repentance. Repentance means to change. Change from what you used to do into the man that God wants you to be. That's Read that real right. quick. Read that. The book of Psalms. One, one chapter 111 and 10. verse 10. Yes, sir. Yeah. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You see that? The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Our people don't know how to fear God because we wasn't taught that. So now the people, now the prophets of the Lord are coming, are coming out here to teach you how to fear God. Read that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom because we think this man right here, Caesar Boger, was God. We fear him. He told you worship me or die. Put a Christmas tree up. That's not fearing God. That's fearing him. He made us servitudes under him. That's not Jesus Christ according to the Bible. Jesus Christ looked like you, all of us standing here. A man of color. We're going to get into that too. Read on. A good understanding. So you're going to have a good understanding. So if you lack wisdom, you keep the commandments. You fear God, meaning you won't break the Sabbath day anymore. You just went in and bought, I see you got some CDs in there. You, you, you rap? You rap? Okay, all right. So you went and bought some CDs so you can burn it to there so you can go out there and produce your music, right? The Lord says we're not supposed to do that, buy and sell on the Sabbath day. As long as we continue to sin against the Most High God, he gonna keep us low in an oppressive state. We're gonna show you that, read. A good understanding have all day that do his commandments. So now when you start to fear God and apply what he says, you're going to have a good understanding because you fear God. You fear the judgment of the Most High. We fear the so-called white man and the other nation's judgment, locking us up, killing us, shooting us down in the street with more than we fear the Most High God. Give me Judah chapter 5. Judah chapter 5, 71, real quick. I'm going to show you something according to the scriptures. This is why we keep staying in oppression. Over, century, over, century, over and over and over. We wonder why we can't get out of it. The Lord says it's time, high time for us to wake up out of sleep. We're sleeping this captivity. That's what they do. rock a -bye baby. They give you all the poisonous food, poisonous music, put drugs in your community, have you hate one another, and put it on a CD. That's keeping our people sleep in a dead state. Watch this. Judah. Yes, Judah 5. Judah 5, verse 70, 71. Judah, chapter 5, verse... Yeah, Judah 5 and 20, sorry. Judah chapter 5, verse 20. Yeah. 19. Verse 19. But now are they returned to their God. So that's what we out here trying to get you to do. Return back to the Lord. That's your king right here. Jesus Christ, so-called black man. The white man is not your king. He's not going to save you. Give me one second, brother. I got you on your questions. I ain't going to forget. Go ahead. And are come up from the places where they were scattered. From where what? And from the places they were scattered. The Most High scattered us throughout the nations. Right. Scattered. Look at this brother right here from so-called Mexico. That's your brother. We oppressed together. Scattered in Europe. Scattered in different parts of Africa. Scattered up in Canada. Scattered, up, scattered over there in the Philippines. All different places of the earth we were scattered because right. of sin. Because of breaking the commandments of God. Read. And have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill countries. All right, stop right there. Give me Second Chronicles 6 and 6. Where's our homeland at, brothers? Where's our homeland at? Where's your homeland? Where are you from? What are our race of people from? Where are we from? Africa, Africa right? What you say? Jerusalem. Jerusalem, correct. What do you say? Okay, all right. So Jerusalem is in Northeast Africa. If you look at the sign, where's the sign at? Is the other sign there? Under. Right here, my brother. You see Africa right there? You see on the northeast where it says Arabia? Down that part where the Nile is? That's where the Israelites descend from. Right. We come from Jerusalem, which is in Israel. But there's somebody else over there that's imposters in your homeland. Bring it out. Because the Lord scattered us throughout the four corners of the, of the world. Right. For disobeying the commandments. Read that. Right. Second Chronicles chapter 6, verse 6. Yes, but I have chosen Jerusalem, uh -huh. 
that my name might be there uh -huh. and have chosen David to be over my people Israel. Right. Who's over us now? Do people look like King David that is over us? King David was a black man according to the Bible. Right. Give me that. Jeremiah 14 and 2. You're looking for use. We're going we're gonna to clarify for you and then we'll get you some questions, all right? Read that right quick. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Because I made a statement. Now I got to prove what I said. I said David was a man of color. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it out. Judith morning. And the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. The Bible says the Jew Jews are black unto the ground. Right. The Jews are in mourning now. Look at our people. We're in mourning. Up and down the streets trying to find a way. We're trying to find our way in life. So what we do? We go to this path. We go to that path. We go to the back that path. We try rapping career. That's not successful. We try selling drugs. That's not successful. We try all these different businesses to grow as a people, but some of it's not successful. Yes, sir. Uh, my brother, uh, uh -huh. Josh, I was like, Josh, I was like, before he died, he did a whole Hebrew gospel album. Okay. Okay. I saw that we got on my CD. I know this is sad that we can see him. I want to know if it's wrong uh -huh. for us to. Because we get, we got, we got, one of my favorite songs called My Seattle Everything. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Covenant blood. He made a, like, a whole gospel. Hebrew album that nobody ever did before. I don't know no idea, but he did before he passed. Okay. And we got that. And, man, I would like to. Man, we all want to give it to y'all. Give y'all music. But I don't know yeah. if that's wrong. No, no, no. Is he speaking about the redemption of the people? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. That's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. Yes. It, give me that verse, uh, Corinthians 15:33. We out here communicating unto you righteousness. If he's speaking about righteousness, that's fine. If he's telling you to wear in this rap, in this his song that he's presenting to the people, if he's telling you to wear fringes on your garment, listen to it. He said, cover me all white, right? Yeah, if he's saying to grow your beard, you can listen to it. As long as it ain't nothing derogatory. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Scripture says, my brother, evil communication will corrupt good manners. The evil communication is going to corrupt you. If you keep listening to it over and over and over, what happens? You start to conform to it. Now you start to be like what you hear or what you see on television. Now all of a sudden you might say you might be 12, 13 years old. You think your peers can be. You never got in trouble. So you start hanging around people that listen to that type of music or engage in that type of lifestyle. Hey, come on, man. I want us to do this. Now what happens? They start to corrupt you. Now you go against the principles of God. That's what happened. Our people started to become corrupt when we started to go under the other nation's gods. So that's how we came in this low estate. We've been corrupted. Go back to Judah chapter 5 and 72. Uh, real quick. Judah chapter 5. You got any questions, bro? Oh, please. What's your name? Caleb. Caleb? What's it? Eric. 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 All right. My name is also nice. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, Judah chapter 5, verse 20. I keep saying that. I'm thinking of 1st Ezra 5. Read that. The book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. But now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So if we, you know what sin is, brother? He said, if we sin against, if they sin against their God, this is the other nations inquiring about the children of Israel, how to defeat them. If we sin against our God, read that first John chapter uh, three, verse four. If we, this is the, this is the Bible definition of sin. So if we sin against our God, it's going to be our demise. It's going to be our ruin, our destruction. Read that real quick. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's law. How you doing, sis? We just read what sin is according to the Bible. Read that real quick. What's going on, young brother? Read that. 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is... The transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of God's law. 
God gave us certain, God gave us law, statutes, and commandments to live by. We broke them. So now we're in this condition of poverty that we're in now. We're not in our homeland. He sent us to out the four corners of the earth, and we're going to be subject to people that don't look like us. Because this is sin, according to the Bible. Go back to uh, Judah chapter 5, verse 20. Because how can you destroy these people? Make them go against their God. Watch this. Read that. Judah chapter 5, verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So if there's any sin against these people, the error, he said this is going to ruin them. This is what's going to make their God turn their back on them. Read. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, uh -huh. let my Lord now pass by. Now it's no sin. We keep in the law. He's, this is another nation acquiring about the children of Israel. He said if there's no error, no sin in them, they keep in the commandments to the best of their ability. He said pass by them. Read. Lest their Lord defend them. Don't fight against them because our God will defend us. Go ahead. And their God be for them. Uh -huh. And we become a reproach before and all the world. Now there'll be a reproach like how in ancient Egypt was. They will become written that these people went against the children of Israel, that God stand up before them, and now it's written in a book that he destroyed those other nations that went against God's people. Right. Is that to the end of it? Yes, sir. Okay, Aubrey, sis, you said you don't know your nationality, right? Your nationality? Give me Isaiah 1 and 3 real quick. It's all right, because sis, we've been destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You see yourself on this sign right here, sis? What's your father? Give me my, uh, Numbers 118 real quick. You see yourself on this sign? Come come a little close right quick. I'm not going to bite you, sis. I'm not going to bite you. Your father. What is your so-called father? Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin. Okay. All praise to the most high. Benjamin. Read that real quick. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So it said they assembled a whole congregation of Israel but their families to the house of their fathers. So you said your father from the tribe of Benjamin, right? All praise to the Most High. Give me Genesis chapter 49 real quick. My stepfather was Levi. Huh? I'm saying that my stepfather What is your father? It goes by your father. Go back to Numbers 1 verse 18 again. Numbers 118. Go back to Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. It don't go by your mother. It go by your father. I said stepfather's Levi. Oh, and your stepfather's Levi. I apologize. Your father's Judah. All praise to the Most High. Read that one more time. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. Okay, now give me Genesis chapter 49, I think it's verse, verse 26, I think, uh, 18. Benjamin shall rave as a wolf. So the tribe of Benjamin is gonna show you in the book of Genesis chapter 49 real quick. Uh, let's see. Yes, 27. Read that real quick. Genesis chapter 49, verse 27. Start at verse one. Verse one. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So in the last days, Jacob, which is our forefather, had 12 sons, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. This is our nationality and our names that God has placed upon us. These are the nationalities that you have been given a part of the curses. You see, God gave us these righteous names. And what do we get? We, what do we get here? Names our oppressor gave us. You know what? You know what? You know what Jamaican means? The land of wood and water. That's not a nationality. That's a byword that was placed upon our people. Hold that. Give me Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen, real quick. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. Because they call themselves Jamaicans or Trinidad, Trinidad, Tobago, Saint Croix. They all come from the tribe of Benjamin. Read that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe 
to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses, we're in error. So we don't keep God's commandments, we become in error, sinful. Now God says all these curses are gonna come upon you. Is a curse a good thing or is it a bad thing? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Got slaves, now we're getting killed. Hey, you see that? You see that? You see that again, brother? Slaves, killed, discriminated against, hunted, right. targeted. Y'all see that down in the south? It's prevalent. I'm from the north. They hide it up there. Now we're killing each other. Down here, they'll blatantly tell you, we don't like you, nigga. Am I correct? You can't even go to certain places in the, around this county, can you? They don't want you over there, especially at night when they was going over last sundown town. Nigga, don't come over here after sundown or we're going to lynch you. They still got a lot of hatred. It's all over the world for our people. Because we're the children of Israel. God says, I told you not to break my commandments. Because when you break my commandments, these other nations are going to rule over you. Watch, let me show you that. Read that real quick. Verse uh, 37. Sorry about that. No, Deuteronomy 28, verse 37, real quick. Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, and a, excuse me, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Read that one more time. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, where the Lord lead, shall lead thee. Deut go to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1, and we're going to go back again. So he says, thou. So who is the thou he's talking to? Let's see Let's see what the, the uh, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1 says. That's the beginning of the chapter of this book. So who is it written to? It says, it says thou. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Remember I told you earlier, the Bible says that Jacob had 12 sons, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Now go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Yes, sir. And thou shalt be an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Astonishment. When they come to the black neighborhood or Hispanic neighborhood, they look at it. Man, look at how these people live. They got broken down buildings everywhere. Everybody's standing on the corner. AK bandos, AK hoods. Yes, a hoods, gang bangers. They looking at, wow, look at these people living. These are God's people living in this poverty condition. Wow. Read on. Thou shalt carry much seed. Thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. What do they say to the so-called black man is wise saying? If you want to hide anything from a Negro or a nigger, where do you put it? in a book because read they don't read. Puerto Ricans carry knives. They call so-called Mexicans wetbacks. All these proverbs and byways placed upon our people. Oh, you don't want to go to school and learn. All you want to do is just sit around and just collect welfare all day. Do they not say that? That's a that's a proverb right there. Read on. And a byword. And a byword. Remember, we're reading the curses of God. That was applied to our people for breaking the laws. So he says, you're going to become a byword. They're not going to call you Benjamin no more. They're going to call you a Jamaican or a West Indian. Well, Indian means slave. Indios mean slave. So they call you a Western slave, right? They call you these private Trinidad and Tobacco. All these things were named after uh, navigators, white men. They come over there. This is this is our landmass. So they call the people, huh? Conquistadors. Like, You've been watching, bro. You've been watching. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Read, read again from the top. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. So all nations, we have a byword that is placed upon us. We go into these stores with the Indians and the Arabs own. They got little bywords that they say to our people in their language. Right. They say little small like the, the, the Africans because we're not Africans. They might say a kata. This is, these are bywords that they saying to you, you don't even know what they saying. They saying little smart remarks. The Chinese, you go in their store, they saying little smart remarks. And you don't even, can't even pick it up.
because these are the curses placed upon our people. Now go back to Genesis 49, verse 26, right? 27, yes, sir. Genesis chapter 49, verse 27. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. You know, Benjamin. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf, right? What does it mean to raven as a wolf? Well, you know what that means? Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. I don't know if I'm good. Am I good? Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. Give me some of the attributes of the so-called Jamaicans. You know about the you don't know about the Maroons? Y'all don't know about the Maroons that was in Jamaica? That came down from the mountains to fight against the so-called white man? They would come down late at night and fight against the so-called white man. They'd be slaughtering those slaughtering people. That's your tribe. Read on. In the morning, he shall devour the prey. And at night. You see that? In the morning, he shall devour the prey. Go ahead. And at night, he shall divide the spoil. So now he goes down there raving. Now he comes with the bow, that comes with the arrow. And he comes and slaughter the Europeans. Now he gathering the spoil. Go ahead. All these are the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh -huh. And this is it that their father spake unto them uh -huh. and blessed them. Everyone, according to his blessing, he blessed them. And he charged them and said unto them, I am to, to be gathered unto my people. All right, start right there. Go back to uh, verse 1 real quick. Verse 1, 49 verse 1. So they have the Maroons. The Maroons came down, and what they do? They raven as a wolf. They went against the oppressor. They started slaughtering the oppressor. Started spoiling their goods, robbing them. The Lord said this is going to happen to the children of Israel in the last days. That's how you're going to identify who is who in the latter times. Read that. Genesis chapter 49 verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourselves together, and hear ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Let's jump down to, jump down to Judah, verse 8. Verse 8. Uh -huh. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. The Bible says Judah. That means God's praise. Judah. He is whom thy brother shall praise. Read on. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Are not so called the so called black man hand is in the neck of his enemies? Watch this. Give me Psalms 83. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit so you can understand. It's, it seems like I'm going to jumping, jumping, jumping. So I'm gonna slow it down. All right. Give me Psalms 83. This is the enemy for all the twelve tribes of Israel, but it mentions here. Judah, his hand is going to be in the neck of the enemy. So that shows you a prophecy. Who is Judah? Look at the so-called black man today. Are we not fighting against injustice? Do we not Rosa Parks roll up and stand on the front of the bus? We know that, sister. We know that. Come back over here, sis. We got to teach you something. Read that real quick. Um, um, Psalms chapter 60 and verse... 83 verse 1, sorry. Read that. Psalms chapter 83 verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lift up the head. So they that hate God have lifted up the head. Who is the president of the United States? Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Does he look like you? No, he does not. Who is the vice president of the United States? Kamala Harris. She looks like you, but she's not our people. She's not our do the research. Huh? She's, Asian she's Indian. She's Indian. She's Indian and uh, some other race her father is, but they're not our people. They have lifted themselves up head in the society. They're not our people. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And they're taking crafty counsel against our people. We don't know why Kamala Harris was chosen. She was chosen, well we know, the other people don't know. She was chosen to be crafty counsel against the people. There's a hidden agenda that's being pushed to the so-called black woman. So they say, we gotta get, find somebody that looks just like them, so what? Read that from, from the top again. They have taken crafty counsel. So we can set them up. We gotta choose somebody that looks just like the Negro so they can set them up. Because you know what she gonna you know what they're gonna do? Push policies and different laws. And you know what a lot of our women gonna do? 
They're going to be like, yes, women's liberation. Long live the black woman. And what's going to happen? They're going to push certain things to where they have our sisters even going more and more against our brothers. They're already going against them now. They say, oh, you don't need that Negro. Do they not say that? I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. Do they not say that? They put these things out there to get our women hypnotized that you don't need a man. You do need a man, a righteous one. You do need a righteous man. Read on. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Come, let us cut Israel off from being a nation. Go ahead. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. I asked you what was your nationality. You said what? Jamaican, right? You said Jamaican, right? And I asked you what your nationality, what you say? African American, right? That's how they cut us off from being a nation. They gave us prob, they gave us byword names. They gave us African American. African American is named, Africa is named after Leo Scipius Africana, and America was named after Americo Vespucci, a Roman general and Italian navigator. You do not descend from either one of them, but that's how they use crafty counsel against you. Now what happened? You confused. You say, I'm an African American. Well, where's the land of African American? Where's the land of black? It's in existence. It's not in existence. That's the confusion of the confederation that they have against you. Let's confuse these people. Read on. For they have consulted together with one consent. They all in agreement. The other nations that are outside the 12 tribes of Israel, they are all in agreement to confound you, to make you sin against your God. Read. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate. One unit. How can we destroy these people? This is what we're going to do. Plant drugs in their community. Plant liquor stores on every corner. Plant greasy food in their community. Make them buy and sell on the Sabbath day. When they keep breaking the laws of God, laws of God, laws of God, they will never get out of this condition. Never get out of this condition. Yes, sir. The tabernacles of Edom. It mentions the first person, the tabernacles of Edom. The tabernacles of Edom. Who is Esau today? Give me Genesis 25, verse 20, 21. Who is Esau? Read that real quick. Genesis 25, verse 21. Got it? Genesis chapter 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled. Verse 25. Verse 25. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. The first came out red, which is this man right here. His race of people was the first one to come out of a black woman's womb. Go ahead. And they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out. So Go ahead, he said, after that? Came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. Meaning, the dominion is going to pass. Esau is the ruling kingdom now. The hand took it over Esau Hill, meaning that what? After Esau is put down out of power, we rule next. But we have to repent. We have to change for what we used to do. We have to repent. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. I'm going to show you something, sis. This is what's keeping our people down in society. This is what's keeping us far away from our God. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Sis, what does, a, what does a woman wear that belongs to a man? Pants. You see that what you said right there? Pants. Pants. We're not singing you out, sis. This is part of us coming back to who we are. This is part of us repenting. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. That is prevalent in Atlanta. Y'all see that all? They say Atlanta is the homosexual capital of the world. I'm from up north, and I hear about it. They say it's everywhere down here. Where the men are not supposed to wear dresses, not supposed to wear wigs, long fingernails, makeup, anything that pertains to a woman, the man is not supposed to wear it. Nor is the woman supposed to wear what pertains to a man. Read on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. The Bible says all that do so are abominable to the Lord thy God. Give me Revelations chapter 22 real quick. 
All that do so, God doesn't like that, sis. But you didn't know that, right? You didn't know that, right? So that's all right. Now from this day forward, you're going to change and you're going to start to wear what? A huh? dress. You got to put dresses. Put a dress on. Because what happened? The pants had a zipper in the front. When I use the bathroom, I use it with my instrument that God gave me, right? Bring it out. You don't have that, sis. So you don't need pants, sis. That's how they keep you in sin. They give you the, the jeans, make it hug you real good, the apple bottom jeans. All the guys over there staring. What does that do? That creates lust in the community. So now we got to come back, sis. Read that. 22 verse 8. Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 22 verse 8. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship. 12, 15, 15. Verse 15. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth to make a, maketh a lie. So who, it says, whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. So now, give me the one in 21. 21 and 8. That's what I wanted. 21 and 8. Read that real quick, and then we got the next teacher coming up. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. No, no. But the fearful uh -huh. and unbelieving uh -huh. and the abominable uh -huh. and murderers uh -huh. and whoremongers uh -huh. and sorcerers uh -huh. and idolaters uh -huh. and all liars uh -huh. shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, uh -huh. which is the second death. Sis, there's another death that you don't know about. It's called the second death. When you die in this place here, you're going to go stand before the Most High God and get judged for everything you do. Even y'all too. We all got to stand before God and get judged for what the things that we do. Right. Why do you think where we are here? To warn you, to let you know, hey, 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 it's time for our people to wake up and keep God's laws because when they die, they're going to meet a judge. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.